Hey, it's Adam from LearnArcViz.com, and I'm excited to announce that we're releasing a new course as of today, all about Lumion 12. And the instructor, Andy, in this video, this preview, is showing you some of the new functionality and returning functionality of Lumion, how easy it is to add effects to your scene and make photorealistic renderings. And as a bonus, if you watch this video, you can also find links in the description to download the SketchUp model that Andy is using in this video. And you can find the links to the full course, which is available now. While you're here, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more preview videos and a whole bunch of tutorials and a whole bunch of different ArcViz software. To get started, let's go over here to photo mode. So we've spent all of our time in build mode. This is photo mode. This is where things are going to be rendered out. We can hit this to render out an image. We can save different camera views by clicking the store camera button. And what this will do for us is if I click to the next thumbnail and just click right over here, it saves these camera angles. Okay, so this is super useful. And what's awesome about this is this angle can have a completely different light setup than this one. This could be nighttime and this could be daytime. So we have a lot of functionality with, with these little saved viewports. Okay? And you can also have different effects. And what the effects are, this is basically the main power source of, of Lumion's rendering capabilities. What I mean by that is if I take something like this, right, and I store the camera and I just hit render, let's say desktop, and I'm going to save this somewhere as a test. And check this out. So if I don't do anything, right, I literally just hit render, this is going to be my final render quality, which isn't bad. It's it's okay, but Lumion can do so much better. Okay, this is like this is good if you're in a rush and you just need to get like you know maybe some approval on the materials or something or lighting setup or you know anything. Um, but generally clients don't want to pay good money for rendering that looks like this. So let's do better, okay? So that's okay. So now we're gonna start setting up our own effect stack. And basically an effect stack uses a bunch of really cool Lumion effects to improve the rendering quality. So let's click add effect. And what you'll notice here is these are all the different featured effects that Lumion has to offer. We have orthographic view, so this can be used to make 3D plans or elevations, so check this out. And I click here and go to enabled. Check that out. That is like a section. It's like a 3D section. And if I zoom in and out or I change my heading, I now have what could be an isometric or an axon view. This is a really great new feature. If you're ever doing like 3D floor plans, you could do 3D sections, you can do elevations. You have all of that as a possibility. So if I were to do a plan, all I would do is change my pitch. And that is an aerial plan of my site. I can also kind of clip into it. And now I've removed all the walls. Okay, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna go back. Um, I can delete this. I'm gonna delete this for now because we don't really need it. But the idea is that I'm showing you that every single effect is extremely powerful. So let's hit add effect. We have something called two point perspective. We have a depth of field, photo matching. This is like if you have an existing site and you wanna put your building on top of it. We have real skies. This is going to completely change our lighting and give us super photorealistic results. This uses HDRIs and it takes those sky domes and that's what gives us the lighting and shadow information. This is a sun controller. So let's say you want the sun position at 12 o'clock on August 14th, 2030, you know, you would use this feature. Shadow gives us control over how dark or how light our shadows are, as well as what colors they are. Reflection lets us tell Lumion which planes should be the most realistic in terms of the reflections. Hyperlight is going to give us some nice global illumination lighting in our shading. Skylight is going to control how bright or how dark 
our lighting information is from our skylight color correction is kind of like photoshop built into lumion layer visibility will toggle things on and off so let's say for example i want to turn off trees in this render view i could do that and this is just the featured set this isn't even everything lumion has to offer we can make styrofoam models so if we just want to you know look at the geometry here we can put it into styrofoam mode and be ready to go. We have volumetric sunlighting. We have God rays. We've got volumetric spotlights. We can make it rain. We can make it snow. We have an incredible amount of options. Look at that. With just a slider, I'm able to make it snow. We can change the colors of our trees to look more autumn like. It'll basically desaturate everything. We can add an aurora borealis, we can add fog, we can add volumetric clouds. We can do different camera features. So my point is we have so many different tools here and I'm gonna show you the most important ones. As you saw, there are dozens and dozens of effects. We're not gonna use every single one of them. Each project is going to need its own set of, uh, of effects. Some may carry over from project to project, but it's very rare for you to use every single one because it's just not necessary. So let's get started and actually build our own stack. 